Hello everyone, I'm Stampy Land Susan here for StampyLand.com's Toot Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning and I'm recording a little tri uh, trick to use when you're stamping your images and trying to cut them out with nesting shapes, either Spellbinders nest abilities or Lifestyle Crafts nesting shapes. Anytime you want something strategically aligned, perfectly placed, um, this is a good trick to use and if you haven't seen it before um, I think you'll be in for a nice surprise if you're trying to get things specifically lined up like the front of this card if you were doing apertures and wanted that precisely placed sometimes when you're running it through your die cut machine things will shift a little bit the dial shift if your plate is a little tiny bit warped it'll it'll go to one side and usually if you're just die cutting shapes that's not a big deal but sometimes with stamped images, you need a specific placement. Either you're trying to get the most shapes out of your paper, or you're trying to line up edges of a stamped shape with edges of a die cut. So this is where matte finish removable scotch tape comes into play. Let's see if I can... Matte finish removable tape, and it's just a scotch product, and it is carried at our sister site, Stampy... Or I'm sorry, Scrappyland.com. That is um, S-C-R-A-P-Y-L-A-N-D.com, scrappyland.com. I'll put the link in this post beneath the video. Um, it's not very expensive. It's under $4, I think, uh, under 4 or $5. And it will last you forever because it's reusable and you can you have a four or five inch hunk and use it for a really long time. I usually end up with them stuck to the front of my shirt somewhere. Um, but let me show you how this works and how great it can be for stamping. All right, if you, one of the, the first ways I like to use it is if you were trying to precisely align shapes, say you were um, cutting out a card and the inside of your card was going to have an image stamped and you needed that cut shape to be in this specific spot. Okay, I have it measured with my eye about a quarter inch down from each one. Look at it real quick and make sure that it's straight left to right. So I want that cut right there and I do not want it to move. So I'm going to take just a little tiny hunk of tape. It's not shiny so it's a little difficult to see but it's about an inch and a half there. This is a small die. And then I'm going to run this through my Vagabond. I'm sorry my Vagabond is not in front of the video camera. It's on the floor here right now. But I'm going to tape that down blade side to my paper. So that when I roll it through, it is blade side up. It's, that's how we cut with our Vagabond or our Epic Six or our Big Shot or our Grand Caliber. So that then, so I, so I taped it down just to show you, I taped it down blade side down. So then I would flip it through and roll it on my paper. Because of the tape, it's not going to move, okay? So now my shape is exactly where I wanted it, lined up left to right, top to bottom, and perfectly placed. But I also will use this application if I'm trying, like say I only have one hunk of a piece of paper left, you know, I'm digging through my scrap bin and I find the perfect piece and I need to get six leaves out of that green. I will line it up and make sure that I use every single centimeter of that paper so that, you know, instead of just throwing the die down and cutting it out, when you're trying to get your most bang for your buck out of a piece of paper, sometimes you need to get those edges right up there and make sure that you get every last square inch. So that's another time that I'll use a lot of the scotch tape and put my pieces down. Cut one, peel it off, go down, cut another, or tape it down, cut another, untape it, go down, and use up my whole scrap. And it almost always works to get me exactly what I need out of that scrap of paper, okay? So placement like that just on your, your papers, your patterns, or your prints. Another time I'll use it, which I really like, is all right, uh, don't call me too many bad names behind my back, but I, people have said I tend to be a little bit OCD when it comes to patterns. So if I'm using a pattern, for, like for instance, this Echo Park uh, polka dot paper, it is the Little Girl Collection. I don't like to just throw my shape down there and cut it out because, oh my gosh, what if I had an entire row of cut in half dots, okay? So I'll take my die cut shape and I'll kind of eyeball it and, and swirl it around there until... I have the pattern in a pleasing place on my shape. Alright, so I'm going to tape this down and as you can see I have one polka dot in each of the corners and none of my polka dots end up getting cut off. Alright, so I'm going to 
Again, blade side down, facing the paper with a piece of scotch tape over it. Put it on my vagabond and run it through with the cutting mat. Okay, so here's my shape. Untape it. Because this is matte finish and removable, it's not going to leave any sticky residue on your paper. It's not going to remove anything, any coloring, any ink, any fuzz, any paper. So there is my shape that I could use on my card, and to my eye, that looks very nice. <laughs> All the polka dots are where they should be, and it's kind of a nice, um, e pleasing, even, repetitive pattern in that shape, all right? It's nothing's, nothing's cut in half or hanging off of an edge, all right? So that's, and I use this all the time. Stripes, plaids, and polka dots drive me crazy. Florals, I think I can usually get away with, but stripes, plaids, and polka dots, I have to have them look nice when I cut them out. All right, then another instance is with um, my stamped images. This is usually how my stamped images start out on one big piece of paper with a bunch of images and then all my color swaps um, <laughs> when I've been picking. So I end up with this piece that then needs, needs to be cut out. I'm gonna cut out this little gal here. She's from the Greeting Farm. And she just fits in this Lifestyle Crafts new nesting label from the CHA. She, between her flourish and her hair and her tippy toes, she just fits. So I'm going to look straight down on her and get her centered left to right. It needs to come a little bit that way. And glue it, er, glue it, tape it down. Now, I'm not worried about going over the Copic coloring or my stamped ink because it is going to be just fine. Let me tear this off. So she will fit through my vagabond. I taped it blade side down. And here she is. Perfectly aligned. I didn't cut off any of her hair flourish. I didn't cut off her tippy toes. And she's lined up. Whoops, there she is just how I want her to be left to right. So she's all ready to mat on a layered shape and put on a card. Oh, she's a cutie. I like her feather in her hair. That's the big trend right now is feathers in the hair. All right, so look for the link for this, um, the matte finish removable tape. I'm going to put the link to stampyland.com on there. Um, it, it's usually hard to find at local stores, and so Danny always has it in stock. Um, and if it's not currently in stock because we've had a rush of scotch tape, um, it'll come in real soon so be sure you click that email me when back in stock if it happens to be out of stock right now um, this literally can, it saves your life it, it works with all kinds of things if you if I'm laying out some flowers and I have a corner of flowers in my card um, if I you know say I wanted to have a little cluster of flowers down here I lay them down lay them down get them lined out just how you want them and then I put a big piece of scotch tape over them lift them up turn them over put adhesive on the back and put it back down same thing with fonts. If I'm using one of the Scrappy Crafts fonts that's coming out, or that has come out recently, are very small fonts. Sometimes they're a little trickier to work with, but Scotch tape saves you, especially when it seems like when you're working on a card, you have a very small space, you don't have tons of room to wiggle around. So the Scotch tape works perfectly for card applications. I hope that you'll pick up a spool of Scotch um, or matte finish removable tape from Stampy Land or from Scrappy Land. I'll put the link on the Stampy Land blog. I'll also put a link to all the different nesting shapes I use. These are all brand new shapes from the Lifestyle Crafts CHA Summer Release. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at stampylandsusan at gmail.com or leave a comment here on this blog post. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.